Welcome to Franchise Marketing Radio, brought to you by SEO Samba, comprehensive high-performing marketing solutions for mature and emerging franchise brands. To supercharge your franchise marketing, go to seosamba.com. That's S-E-O-S-A-M-B-A dot com. Lee Cantor here, another episode of Franchise Marketing Radio, and we're in for a treat today. Today we have Terry Powell, and he is one of these virtual pioneers in the franchise industry. He's founded The Entrepreneur Source, and he is going to talk about a a new um, effort that he's got going on, Intelligent Leadership Executive Coaching. Welcome, Terry. Good morning, Lee. Thank you. Well, I'm excited uh, to talk to you and uh, kind of do a deep dive into franchising. What drew you to franchising, uh, you know, throughout your career? Yeah, it started almost... uh... Uh, three and a half decades ago, I was just a very curious individual. I love business. I probably was the first person to subscribe to the <clears throat> Entrepreneur Magazine and just found franchising to be fascinating right from the get-go and uh, got involved in some doing some uh, in a partnership here in Connecticut on a business brokerage franchise and quickly learned that that wasn't what I was looking to do and decided I was going to launch a concept that would help people be able to take a look at franchising and explore some possibilities that could fit their goals, needs, and expectations. So in 1984, I launched the the Entrepreneur Source. And then talk about the Entrepreneur Source for those who aren't familiar. Yeah, the Entrepreneur Source is is a network of career ownership coaches trained by us. They're franchisees of ours. And we have a methodology that allows our coaches to work with individuals who want to explore the possibilities of career ownership in a safe space. And we take them through our coaching methodology that allows them to look at uh, three to four different options in franchising. We introduce them to franchise concepts. And then the coach works with them through the entire discovery experience with the franchisors that they're looking at. And the byproduct of that is that a number of those individuals will choose to invest in a franchise and go on to to launch their franchise career with one of the brands that we've inter- introduced them to. And then how would that be different than a business broker or a franchise broker? Well, the main, the main thing, the difference between a business broker or a franchise broker is that they're focused on a sales methodology. And it's basically working people through what they think is the best thing for them or what they would like to look at. The coaching methodology really takes a much deeper dive into what it is they're looking to accomplish, their goals, needs, and expectations from a lot of different, a lot of different direction. And rather than looking to see what they want to buy or what they want to invest in, we talk to them about how to use the business as a vehicle to accomplish income, lifestyle, wealth, and equity. So that approach alone is, is unique to us. And something we discovered many years ago is really the key to helping them see how to use a business like a franchise as a vehicle to accomplish their income, lifestyle, wealth, and equity goals. So we approach it from that concept rather than showing them things to see what they like or don't like and, and having have them work through it as, as a broker would. So now um, when this person is coming to you, are they typically someone that had always a dream of being an entrepreneur or is it somebody that maybe they just got laid off and now they don't know what to do? They're kind of untethered. Like what's the mindset of a person right before they contact you guys? It's, it varies a bit, but the majority of them are not uh, necessarily in a, in a mode of looking to be an entrepreneur. <clears throat> They're really fed up with corporate America, what we call the battered career syndrome, and their career experience through you know, the years leading up to that point has not been as positive as they would like it to be. So they're looking to take ownership of that career rather than working for someone. Now, are you finding that that person is coming to that conclusion at a younger and younger age? Yes, actually, it's true. Um, I, I can remember back not that many years ago when the, when the average age of a person coming was in their, in their mid-50s or older. And today it's it's shifted to a quite quite a bit younger age where people are are, are really kind of fed up with the battered career syndrome and the battered investor syndrome. And they're getting more aggressive about looking to make that shift younger in their careers. 
So now the entrepreneur source, is that a franchise as well? Yes, we franchised it uh, 20 some years ago after being in business for 14 years. And I was doing the coaching with some associates. Uh, we decided to franchise it after many people we worked with had friends and relatives in other parts of the country that they wanted us to work with. And we didn't have the capacity for that. So we, they encouraged us to look at exploring franchising the concept. And I kind of went kicking and screaming to that because I really wasn't interested in franchising. I was loving what I was doing as a coach. And I didn't want to give that up, but I was able to make that shift and figure out a way to franchise it. And since then, we've uh, been quite successful at bringing franchisees into the system, training them, and supporting them on an ongoing basis. Now, um, for uh, franchisors or maybe emerging franchisors uh, who aren't kind of that familiar with the process, it's a different business, right? When you're running your own business, you have certain goals and jobs to do. But when you're a franchisor and helping other people be successful in their local market, that's kind of aligned, I would imagine, with your coaching and things like that. The training and coaching is, is more of what you're doing rather than, you know, trying to make that one more sale. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, being a franchisor is not an easy position to be in at any point in time, but it's quite a paradigm shift for any entrepreneur who's launched his own business and decides to franchise it. We've worked with uh, somewhere about, we're about 570 franchisors over the last 20 some years, helping them be able to bridge that gap of finding the right franchisees to operate their license. Oh, that's part of your service as well? Well, we work with franchisors. We have, we have a, a network of member, member franchisors, and we coach and, and advise them on how to make that shift into working and finding the right kinds of candidates and so forth. Because you work with so many, you probably kind of learned the do's and don'ts of how to be a successful franchisor. That would be true. We have learned a lot over the years, and uh, there are a lot of do's and don'ts, and franchising is – uh, far more complex for a business to shift into that model than most people, most entrepreneurs believe it is. So they do need some guidance and some help from from an organization like ours that's had a lot of experience in that regard. Now, do you think your background in coaching and leadership has really helped you become successful in this industry where a lot of folks, maybe they're good at making a pizza or making yogurt, but they really don't have that kind of background, uh, the leadership background that you have? Well, I think the key to it is that I realized when I started the Entrepreneur Source that I had been doing some some research and learning about coaching being used in the business world other than just a sports field. I became intrigued by that and started to look into that in in quite some depth. And the fact that we are a coaching organization and we take that approach with people, it opens up their ability to shift from what we call their 1.0 career, what they've been doing most of their lives to shift into the 2.0 version of themselves, which is allowing them to make that mindset shift about using a business to to develop income, lifestyle, wealth, and equity. Rather than feeling like they're buying themselves a job, they get to own and manage a successful franchise business. Now, let's talk a little bit about uh, the evolution of the Intelligent Leadership Executive Coaching. Did did this kind of, uh, was this now looking back as a natural outgrowth of your work at the Entrepreneur Source? No, actually, we have a brand uh, that we were we were working on to develop for executive coaching uh, a number of years ago. And John Matone, who was the founder of ILEC, reached out to me and had heard about us and decided he wanted to franchise his ILEC business. So he reached out to me and we we started to work together and talk about that in a way. And as we got to know each other better and he saw my experience in franchising and his experience in intelligent leadership executive coaching, and because of my experience in coaching, we decided it would make more sense to co-found the franchise concept, ILEC, together. So we're the co-founders of the ILEC franchise concept. And then what was the the thinking behind a lot of coaching has certifications and that's how they kind of uh, delineate the credential for the coach. What was the thinking of making it a franchise rather than a certification? Well, actually we didn't choose between making it a franchise or certification. There's a full credible, credible certification program that was already in place for ILEC. So every new franchisee becomes certified as a byproduct of their training. 
but some um, kind of leadership groups go to market as just that selling that certification or that's the uh, what the, yeah. the person gets. In your case, they get a franchise as well as the certification? Yes, they have both. I mean, the certification is an integral part of being successful as a, as a leadership coach. And franchising is just a more formatted way for them to have ongoing training and experience and expertise to help them as they grow and expand their business rather than just join, going, getting certified and going out on their own trying to figure out how to build it. Is that where you see kind of the gap in a lot of certifications? They give you kind of the thought leadership, but they don't give you kind of the business model around it? Well, it's not a turnkey model. Uh, it's based on the certification and the methodologies of the of the leadership coaching or the coaching that that company has been successful at, but it really doesn't bridge bridge the gap between turning that into a successful business model that can continue to grow and expand and evolve. So we work with people that want to build something larger than just a a, a private uh, coaching business with a, with a you know a handful of clients or a dozen clients. So that that's what most you find that most people who go through the um, kind of credential path, they are just kind of solopreneurs that are just trying to build a lifestyle business for themselves, no matter how large that lifestyle business is. But that's their kind of goal. But the people that are attracted to intelligent leadership executive coaching are kind of more empire builders that are trying to, you know, put a team exactly. together. Yeah, well said. That's exactly right. Most people that go to get certified are really doing it because they lack the credentials and the training that they need to feel that they have the credibility to take on clients on their own. So there is a, there is a need for that, but in a franchise concept, all that comes as a byproduct of investing in the franchise model and having extensive training, certification, ongoing training, and all the things that work from a franchise concept. Now, uh, what is kind of the profile of somebody attracted to the intelligent leadership executive coaching? Are are they frustrated coaches that maybe have done the credential thing and are just not getting the result they want, or this kind of a a new person? Yeah, actually, it's not what you just mentioned. It's more of an individual who was in, in corporate America, have always been part of leadership, have a desire to be involved in leadership, that are looking to make a career transition and they feel that that type of a that type of a path would be would be ideal for them. So it really doesn't doesn't matter whether they were a coach before. In fact, most of our all of our franchisees that, that have come to our system so far are not have not been priorly operating as a uh, as a coach. They haven't been, but that may no. were they coached before in their leadership position at their previous job. Some of them were coached or they were aware of coaching that was being done in other organizations or they had had companies reach out to their to their corp, their company and talk about leadership coaching. And it created a, a desire for them to, to research and look into it further. Now, where do you think we are in the lifestyle of business coaching and executive coaching, leadership coaching? Or do you think we're at the beginning stages of that or you think we're it's fairly mature at this point? Uh, no, I think there's it's, it's somewhat mature but it, it's really just scratching the surface. There really hasn't been an organization that has done well at being able to grow it from a franchise standpoint or other methodology that has allowed it to grow. Uh, we're, we're actually at a point where we're getting so much traction that we're, we're expa- expa- expanding internationally ahead of our schedule because of the demand for it. Now, is so, that, you know, they're hungry to be kind of uh, the franchisee or is there so much demand of people wanting coaching? It's, it's more of the fact that there's a demand for people needing coaching, especially in executive situations in corporate America. The need for that and the, the upside in corporate America for utilizing coaching in their methodology is at such a high point that there's a lot of people that have been frustrated in corporate America that see that need and they come looking for something like that. Now, um, is part of your methodology is partnering with the actual companies to provide this for on behalf of the companies to their employees? It's a combination. It's really we, we work with the organization or the individual in that organization to see what their needs and desires are. And we can structure the program to get it started in any of those ways you just mentioned or anything that's customized to a standpoint, which is, which is more of an evolution for them if they feel they want to start off and grow into a more extensive program for their entire leadership team. And is that one of the benefits of uh, somebody 
investing in intelligent leadership executive coaching because you might have kind of national accounts with some of these larger enterprise companies and then they can fulfill some of that coaching locally? No, actually, we don't have national accounts with those. We, we rely on the franchisees to develop their own accounts based on their own circle of influence and the desire where they and what what uh, income streams they want to they want to focus on. So we don't have national accounts as the franchisor that they can just you know they can just flow into. So, so each each franchisee gets the opportunity to build their business based on their background and their desire in the markets of intelligent leadership and executive coaching. And then you have the methodology that teaches them how to go to do that in their local market. Yeah, that's the key. The franchise concept is turnkey, meaning that the, the franchisee doesn't have to come pre-equipped with any of that background knowledge or, or systems in place. We have a complete turnkey, you know, A to Z that allows them to start off and grow and expand and develop. Well, if somebody wanted to learn more about both of these opportunities, what's the way to learn more about first the entrepreneur source? That is a great question. Let me get you our. The website I have is entrepreneurs with an S source uh, dot yep. com. And uh, that's I don't know if is that the general kind of website or is that the for the franchising as well? That'll give you access to the, to to both to both, and that's the word entrepreneur with and then with an S and then source. So there's two S's next to each other in the middle of that dot com. Yeah, and I apologize because I uh, and then it's not I, something I usually get too involved in. <laughs> Sure, I got here on board. You want to jump here, in? I, I got this. I got the Intelligent Leadership Executive Coaching website. I have as ilecfranchise.com. That's ilecfranchise.com. That stands for Intelligent Leadership Executive Coaching Franchise.com. That's it. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you uh, for sharing your story. It's an amazing success story, and congratulations on all the success you've had throughout and, and the impact you've made in the franchising world. Uh, you know, it, we really appreciate what you've done to help grow franchising as an industry and to help uh, elevate coaching to what it needs to be to help other folks kind of raise their game and get to the next level. Great. I appreciate it, Lee. It's been, it's been fun having a conversation. All right, this is Lee Cantor. We will see you all next time on Franchise Marketing Radio.